Hello, this is uh, my little 40 plus British Seagull. Um, this engine is uh, my uh, favourite engine and one of my first engines I ever bought. Um, I bought this engine for 12 quid at a boot sale, um, which was really good. Um, one of the reasons it was so cheap is because the bloke didn't know, know what he was selling and the uh, engine was uh, away from the lower unit and uh, it made it look a bit battered and broken um, and it also didn't have a silencer tube so it looked a bit uh, looked a bit naff but when I got it home uh, put it all together thought oh, I'll give it a quick start without the silencer tube um, it was a bit loud but it started up the second pull um, which was amazing considering it only had one piston ring in there um, so I had to get a I've just finished putting in a new uh, set of piston rings and um, which were ex stock on ebay um i would uh send out a, a a recommend if you need a 40 model piston rings you're thinking about getting the new ones um get on there now um the bloke is selling ex stock uh 40 plus piston rings um he was selling 11 i think it was 11 available and there was nine that had been bought and i was the ninth buyer so if you need them i would definitely definitely go on there and get them because you're not going to be able to get them anymore once they're gone unless you've got someone who's got a set and they really to be honest need to be brand new because you can't use second hand ones because they have already been worn um which is a shame but this engine is set up now um it's had a complete engine rebuild um, it's been completely stripped out. The water system is completely clear. Um, it's had all new gaskets all round, crank casing gaskets, uh, new head gasket, new gasket between the block and the crank casing. Uh, the carburetor has been completely stripped out and cleaned. Um, everything on this engine has been cleaned. Uh, the lower unit gear, the gearbox at the bottom has been completely stripped. Um, it's had all the uh, oil. Uh, changed it's had all the paint taken off it's had all the a new impeller um uh it's had it's got a new silencer tube this is all polished aluminium at the moment at the bottom um it will be painted black or i will paint it silver the original color um i'm undecided i did have it black before and it looked not too bad um but the problem is with painting it at the bottom it if you um, happen to clip something along the bottom it chips the paint off and that's why I've stripped it all off at the moment um, so that's one of the reasons why it's bare aluminium at the moment um, it's had a new accelerator cable because um, the other one was perished um, this is all original spark plug is original um, what makes me laugh about the spark plug in these engines is actually the uh, the uh, little point that comes off of the edge of the spark plug um, is actually to the side of the uh, to the side of the electrode in the middle of the spark plug. Spark plug. It's actually to the side, and it sparks uh, in between there, and it's actually um, quite a quite a, a unique design, I would say. Um, but I've actually seen one uh, a bit better than that. I've seen uh, a Mercury with uh, no uh, sort of uh, sparking arm over the top, and it sparks between the piston and the uh, spark plug, um, which is quite a unique design because you get more compression. Um, but yeah, enough about that. Uh, any other things? Oh, I do need a new fuel cap. Um, if anyone has one. Um, could you please uh, send me a message uh, saying that you've got one spare? Uh, I'm up, I'll be spending up to about twenty pound on one if someone's got one, or or however however they come really. Um, the block's been completely repainted. Um, it's been sprayed and then had lacquer sprayed over it to keep the paint uh, give the paint a longer life. And there's the British Seagull name there. Uh, the tank's a bit dented on the edges, and um, you tend to get them with the old seagulls because uh, the tank is the widest part of the engine. So when you put them down, they the tank takes a bit of a battering. Um, if you do want to take these off, 
Um, you have to get a blowtorch because they're brazed on. You have to get a blowtorch and melt around the edge and then it should just come straight off. Um, and then you can bash it out and put it back on or whatever, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, what some people have been doing is stripping the paint completely off of the fuel tank. I I don't like doing that because I love this little decal on it. I love the little the man with the... Uh, the outboard over his shoulder um, it just gives it a lot of personality I mean every little uh, little scuff and dent is you know a memory of it going out and and uh, someone you know using it or me using it you know um, or the person I who had it before me using it and it just gives the engine its own unique little bit of personality and um, which I really like but everything's been completely cleaned um, if you do like antique outboards or classic outboards, uh, check this guy out. He's called his YouTube channel is called Classic Outboards. I've been watching. I've watched all his videos. He's a really nice guy, and I really like all his videos. He's got loads of classic outboards. Um, he does have an Evinrude two horse. Um, if anyone's got one, message me because I am looking for one of them. Um, so if anyone actually got one, uh, give me a give me a a message or something and I'll uh, see if I can get back to you um well that's about it really um thanks for watching and I hope I get some more videos out thanks a lot bye